Hi everybody and welcome to the Olivia Woodruff Portfolio Project here on Codecademy. Let's begin. Look over index.html to review the different HTML elements you have to work with. Then navigate to style.css. Okay, let's take a quick look. Uh, okay, uh, and start by making the header section stand out a bit more. Select the header element and make its background color cornflower blue by using the background color property. Okay, so what we are targeting is everything that we see right here, the background of all of these elements, right? And we can see that, of course, inside the, uh, the index.html file. So all of this is what we are targeting, right? Okay, so let's... Uh, let's uh, do what we're asked to do. So we start by typing dot and then header and then the curly braces. And inside of the curly braces, we are going to type background color, which is going to be corn flower blue, right? And now I click on save and this is supposed to change the background color, right? So yeah. There you go. Now we have a new background color, which is cornflower blue. Perfect. So we check the box right here and move on to the next uh, task. So now change how the text is aligned in the top header section. Okay. So all of the text right here, right? Um, in your header rule set, align the text, um, align the text in the center using the text align property. Okay. So we go down here and we type text align and we type center right and then we click on save and now the center yeah, now the text is supposed to be at the center and yes it is right perfect so we check the box right here and move on to the next uh, task uh, next use css to make the paragraph below olivia's uh, name have a larger text size so this right here right uh, in style.css, select the about me uh, element and set its font size property to 20 pixels. Okay, so we go down here uh, and we type uh, dot, oops, dot about me. And we need the curly braces and then we type font size like this, which is going to be 20 pixels like this and we click on save and now the font size uh, has changed right or which cha changed it to 20 pixels right okay so let's check the box and move on to the next uh, task the about me paragraph looks a little dark against the light blue background maybe it would look nice if it blended more with the background within the about me uh, class selector use the opacity property to make it 50 percent transparent okay so we go up here and we type opacity and then we type 0 0.5 and we click on save and there you go right now it's blending more with the uh, with the background right okay so let's check the box and move on to the next uh, task in the projects uh, section uh, make the section titles bold uh, select the title elements and add a font weight property to make their text bold okay so what we are tar targeting here is uh, this and this right here right these uh, two titles um so uh, again if you're not sure what you're actually targeting just go inside the index.html file and find the uh the element with the class title right and in our case it's uh this one right here so web development projects right and the uh, paragraph element uh design projects that we see right here right so both of them those two uh paragraph elements uh, are the only elements that have the uh, class of title so the this is uh this is what we are these are the elements that we are targeting right now okay yeah but always check the index.html file if if you're not sure what you're targeting um so yeah so let's go down here and now what we need to do is just type uh, dot title uh, and then we type uh, font weight like this oops 
like this, which is going to be bold. And then we click on save. And there you go. So now we have the titles. Um, both of them are now bold, right? Both the both uh, both uh, title elements or paragraph elements with the uh, with the um, class of title, right? Okay, so let's check the box and move on to the next uh, task. Uh, change the main title color so that it matches the background color more nicely. Set the color for H1 elements to Azure. Okay, so what we are targeting uh, now is only the H1 element that we see right here. Again, if you're not sure that that is the H1 element, the H1 heading element, just go inside the index.html file and take a quick look and we can see that, yep, this is the H1 element, right? So, so yeah, so this is what we're target, targeting right now. So let's do what we're asked to do. So we type H1 and then we need the curly braces and then we type color, which is going to be Azure, right? Like this. And we, uh, we click on save and there you go. Perfect. Okay, let's check the box and see what's next. Instead of the page being in the default uh, times font, uh, change the font of the entire page. Select the body element and make the font family of the page Georgia. Okay, so we go down here and we type body and then the curly braces and then we type font family which is going to be Georgia like this and we click on save and there you go. So we check the box here and now finally let's make the background of the page more interesting. Within the body selector set the background image property to this URL. Okay, so let's copy the URL like this and we go down here and we type uh, background image and then we type URL and then we need the parentheses and we need the quotes inside, right? And between the quotes, we paste uh, the URL like this. And now we click on save. And if we take a, cl uh, take a closer look, we can see the, the, the background image of the, um, we can see the background image of uh, the whole page, right? Um, you can barely see it actually. I don't know if you can see it, um, how you are seeing it on your uh, on your uh, computer screen, uh, but on mine it's you know it's barely visible. All right, but you can see some patterns, some circles, some squares, and stuff like that. Right. Uh, so yeah. So um, yeah. So let's continue. And now, uh, great work. Feel free to keep coding and edit the visual rules uh, to personalize the site's appearance. Okay, you guys can do that yourselves. You don't need me for that. And with that. Uh, I can only say that we are done with this uh, with this lesson or this project. Uh, so if you found the video helpful, um, uh, I would really, really appreciate it if you give uh, the video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on Code Academy. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time.